Hello everybody, welcome to another week on Let Us Pray. While you are getting ready for this prayer, while you are sharing this video with your friends, while you are trying to get your Bible, you know, to get your praying position, let us begin to welcome the Holy Spirit into our midst because without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing for we do not know how to pray. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this gathering. Holy Spirit, take your place, be in charge. I humble myself before your throne of mercy and I pray, Holy Spirit, be enthroned in the mighty name of Jesus. Make your presence known in our midst. Let every prayer that we shall pray today, let that be testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Intercede on our behalf, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we invite you into our midst. Makuri mazinde rebo koson tore ma shanda da da da. Ma le bo son tore ma gaga ma kata ye ke ke mazinde rebo son tore. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Make your presence known in our midst today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come and do that which only you can do today. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we table our prayer request unto you, O oh God, let that be an answer. In the mighty name of Jesus, a speedy answer to every prayer that we shall render today. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go into today's prayer, I want to, a little chat. I want us to have a better understanding why we are doing this. Why do we pray? What is the purpose of prayer? What is the importance of prayer? Prayer is important because it makes us more like Jesus and it reveals to us the heart and mind of God. When we pray, we, com we communicate to God, we tell God our, our mind and we get to know God's mind for our life. We get to know God's, God's plan for our life. Ephesians 6, 18 says, Praying in the Spirit always, with all kinds of prayer that is we should pray without ceasing our daily life should be built on prayer we intercede we stand in God for our friends for our family philippians 4 6 says do not be anxious for nothing but in prayer and supplication make your request known if you have anything bothering your mind just go to god in prayer Instead of you maybe voicing out to a friend, I know that at times you need to voice out, but most of the time, learn how to confide in Christ. And I see God helping you in the journey of life in Jesus' name. Today, we want to pray for, we want to intercede for as many that are sick. We have, you know, a lot of people that are sick around us. Some people are sick in their body. Some people are sick in their minds some people are sick we need to intercede for them let us begin to thank god for today for those people that has gone to their workplace and they are back home let us thank god for a wonderful day well spent let us thank him for for his peace that is raining in our heart let us thank him for our families, our children, our friends, our nation. Let us begin to thank God for his faithfulness, even though we are not faithful, but his faithfulness has kept us, his faithfulness has brought us this far. Let us begin to worship his holy name. Let us adore him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Let us go to his to, to, to his throne of grace with thanksgiving. Let us thank him for what he has done. Let us thank him for what he is yet to do because we believe that he will surely do that which that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we adore you. We exalt your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for our lives, for the lives of our children, for the lives of our husband. We thank you for the lives of our friends. For the lives of our relatives, we bless your holy name. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank Jesus. you. Right now, let us humble ourselves before the throne of mercy and begin to ask for mercy in whichever way we might have come short of his glory. Because the Bible made it clear to us 
in Isaiah 64 verse 6 and I read but we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness are as filthy rags and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind has taken us away that our righteousness is like a filthy rag before him let us come before his throne of grace that father be merciful unto us today in the name of jesus in any way in any form we might have come short of your glory my father my god we seek for your favor we seek for your mercy be merciful unto us in the mighty name of jesus sins of omission have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus forgive us every of our sins forgive us every of our iniquities in the mighty name of jesus father cleanse us and make us whole draw us closer unto yourself the more in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we are praying amen right now i want to pray for as many that are sick we want to intercede for those that are sick in their body or mind as many people that we know be it in their hospital or on their sick bed at home my father and my god i stand on your authority which is jesus I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself from head to toe and I decree and prophesy your word into their lives as many that are sick in their body my father my God the Bible says you are the balm of Gilead begin to stretch your stretch forth your mighty hands unto them in the mighty name of Jesus heal them of every of their diseases in the mighty name of Jesus have the mention of your name every knee must bow hey and every tongue must confess that Christ is Lord. My Father, my God, as men that are sick in their body, I decree right now, let there be healings in the house. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch that part of your body in which you, are, you want healing. Touch that part. Touch that part. And begin, and begin to declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, is there anyone among you sick? Let him pray. <laughs> My God. Let him pray. And that is what we are doing right now. As men that are sick in their body, in their mind, in their soul. Oh God. You are the balm of Gilead. Heal them right now. Let there be healing in the house. Yes. Healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing. In any parts of your body, lay your hands there and declare healing to your body, soul, and mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is healing in the, in the, in the house right now. Psalm 107 verse 19 to 20. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distress. You have to open your mouth by yourself. Tell God that area of your life that you are feeling distress, that you are feeling pain. Begin to say, God, I receive my healing in the mighty name of Jesus. In this part of my body, I receive healing. Or is there anyone that you know you can stand in gap for someone as well and declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus? There is nothing too difficult for God to do, no matter what you are passing through. No matter the name of the sickness, I don't want to name the name of the sickness. All what I know right now is the name of Jesus, which is above every other name. And I stand on that authority and I declare and decree. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm. Verse 20 says, He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Every destruction, every pain you are going through in your body, in your mind. Some people are sick in their marriage. Some people are sick in their academic life. Sickness is not necessarily mean part of your body. It can be in your mind. It can be in your finances. So I decree healing into your life in the name of Jesus. Let that be healing in the name of Jesus. Say unto yourself, in the name of Jesus. I will be healed of every disease in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be healed of every disease. 
The Lord will have compassion on you and bring healing from every sicknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will have compassion on you today and you will receive your healing. You will walk in the freedom that the Lord, that the Lord has given you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be because his word says in 3 John 2, 3 John 2, Beloved, I wish above all things, hey, I love God. He says, above all things, that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thou so prosperest. Begin to prophesy his word unto yourself. God honoreth his word more than his name. And his word says, he wants you to be in good health. He wants you to be in good health, in sound mind. So begin to, begin to touch that part of your body that you are feeling pain. That God, I receive my healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Makuri mazi re ke de 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 bo shanda. Magaga mas kata ye ke ke mazi re bo sonto de. Makuri mazi de 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 de. Male bo sonto de ma shanda da da. Lord, let there be healings in the house. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, the Bible says you will have mercy on whoever you've chosen. My Father, my God, I pray concerning this world. Let them be among those people. You are going to have mercy on. Let there be healings in the house. Heal them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. And when the Lord heal you, your healing will be permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will feel no pain anymore. It will be permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will rejoice and you will laugh at last. And that sickness will not be transferred to any members of your family. If that sickness is going, is leaving you and is living for life, <laughs> so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, you are made whole. And so shall it be. Receive your healing. Believe it and walk in faith. Walk in your healing. Begin to do that which you cannot do. Exercise your faith right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those things that you cannot do, begin to do them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the healing in the house. We thank you that their healing will be permanent. As many that are sick, wherever they are, be it in the hospital or those in their comfort zone at, uh, comfort zone at home, let there be healing. Stretch forth your mighty hands unto them, O oh God, and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will live to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, hey, and of love, and of sound mind. Hey, I know some people are living in fear. Hey, some people cannot do anything without fear. To write exam is fear. To sleep at night, some people are living their life in fear. To board a bus is fear. Begin to cast every spirit of fear in the house. We cast every spirit of fear. Begin to bow in the name of Jesus. Say unto yourself, every spirit of fear in my life, every spirit of fear in my marriage, I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear in my life academically, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Some people fear as dominated alive. Hey, they cannot do anything freely without fear. Every spirit of fear is a sickness. So therefore, every spirit of fear in my life, in your life, I cast you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear in the lives of my children, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear in the lives of my husband, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear in my life, in everything I do, I cast you out. Fear has no power in my life in the name of Jesus because God has not given us the spirit of fear. He said, but of power. Hey, we need power. Power to do exploit.
power to do that which you are not able to do. Begin to receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive power. I receive power to function in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to function in my life academically in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to live well in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to live above sin in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to do that which I'm not capable of doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Power from above, I receive it. Every spirit of boldness, wear your boldness as a cloth. Begin to walk in the boldness of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power to do exploit in the mighty name of Jesus. And with God Father, and of love and of sound mind. Hey, you need love. You need sound mind. There are a lot of people walking on the streets. They don't have sound mind. Sound mind means peace. Some people are just walking. They don't have peace of mind in their heart. Say to yourself, I receive sound mind. I receive peace in my heart. I receive peace in my home. In the mighty name of Jesus. A lot of mothers don't love their children. A lot of husbands don't love their their, 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 their wife. Say, I receive love. I receive the grace to love my husband as I ought to. I receive the grace to love my children as I ought to. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the grace to love my children as I ought to, to show them love. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive sound mind. I receive peace. I receive mind of excellence. Mind to do that which I'm not able to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of my life. In everything that has to do with me. I receive sound mind. I receive peace. In my home. In my marriage. In my financial life. In my academic life. I receive peace. I receive an excellent spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive sound mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, as touching my children, I receive sound mind. As touching my husband, I receive sound mind. As touching everything that has to do, we receive sound mind. As touching our nation, we receive sound mind because sound mind is peace of mind. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. Begin to walk in the freedom that the Lord has given you. No more fear. Don't exercise fear. No matter what you want to do, Walk in the faith. Walk in the faith. No more fear. We cancel every spirit of fear in our heart, in our home, in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people are afraid of their marriage. Maybe their marriage is going to, to, to collapse or whatsoever. Every spirit of fear, we cast it out in our life. We receive the spirit of power, of love, and of sound mind. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Ancient of days, we thank you. I am that I am. We appreciate you. Abba, Father, we give you all the glory. We thank you for all this prayer. We thank you because you will answer them by fire. And we will live to testify. We will live to testify to this prayer request. We receive power from above. We receive sound mind in our lives, in our marriage, as touching our children. As touching our study, we receive sound mind. <laughs> we receive power, oh God. Is there anyone sick in the house? My Father, my God, let there be healing. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to walk in the liberty that God has given you. I want you to walk in that liberty. I want you to walk in that freedom that the Lord has given you, begin to exercise your faith. No more fear. <laughs> no more sickness. In your body, in your, in your mind, emotionally, no more fear. And so shall it be. Begin to exercise your faith. And I want to encourage you, please, do share the video with your friends. Encourage them to join. And we see God helping us and seeing us through this. See you next time. Remain blessed.